gonna be a four guy. He's gonna show you how to do a scissor sweep from um, Coast Guard. So we're gonna use this same sweep. So we'll do a quick recap on the switch. Murata and the Omokata. Similar concepts to the Nogi version we did. So again, um, a real basic way of setting up the scissor sweep from Coast Guard is you get a lapel grip, a sleeve grip. Pound my foot on the mat, hip escape on my side, which is what these guys are doing in the warm up. And when I get to here, okay, I can either sweep his leg or bring my foot back to push back. And I'm up top. But again, we talked about how that basic scissor sweep, you know, I was doing really well when I was working my close guard, trying to break his posture. Then I made a mistake. I opened my guard. I went for that scissor sweep position. I did the box control. My body locks my legs, sprawls, and walks around. And I passed my guard. It's really sucks because I opened my guard. <coughs> so, yes, I put myself at risk when I opened my guard, but a better way, like we um, discussed in the this week, I could sleeve control. Okay. I can uncross my legs, put my feet on this hip, move my hips back and onto my side. And now I have box principle. Box principle means I put a roadblock in front of his hips and his shoulders. So my right foot is on his left hip, my right knee is on his left shoulder, my right hand is on the other shoulder, and my left foot is on the other hip. So if Carter tries to put pressure on me or moves at all, just move about bro. Stay alone. Okay. So, I'm safe. From here, I pull with the knee, I pull with my sleeve, my foot goes to his knee, okay? I kick out his leg, and when I kick across, I'm on my elbow, not my side. So I can pull myself up. Okay. So we cover that very easily, three, three or four. So we're going to use that same sweep, guys, to set up the open platter. Only this time, I'm going to switch my grip. So, I get my sleeve grip. Okay. Put my feet on the hips. Move my, my hips back onto my side, bringing my knees. So, I'll box principal control. Okay. I get my grip on the sleeve, on the collar. I move my hips back. Only this time, guys, instead of um, grabbing the sleeve here, I'm going to switch to an elbow grip because I'm only faking the sweep. Okay? I'm only kicking Carl this way and I'm expecting him to post with his hand. Okay? I want that. Because from here, guys, see the way his, his right elbow is tucked to his body and I can't open plat on this arm, which is what I want. And I can pull all day, but I'm not good. So I get the grip. And I force the reaction okay, from the post just by doing my scissor sweep, by kicking this way, he posts. And what he wants to do is come back. And when he comes back, I'm already pulling with the lapel, pulling on the elbow, and kicking the side of the From here, same thing. Pull this leg out. I'm on my right side. I move my hips from my right side to my left side. Only this time I have the lapel, so I don't need the overall the grip. Just get a hold of the gear. Here. Elbow vice, I bring the elbow inside. And I sit up. I have. Yeah, so with the gear, it's easier to get. So from here, I get my grips, uncross my guard, I put my feet on, the, on his hips, and move my hips back also onto my side. This is my starting position for my scissor sweep. Let go of the sleeve, get the grip on the collar. But I want him to post in this hand, because if I keep sleeve control and I hit the scissor sweep perfectly, I'm going to end up in mine. So I switch the grip to the elbow. I go for the same move. I'm pulling, pulling, kicking. I'm baiting Carl into posting with this hand. And I know he wants to come back, because if he stays there, I'll still continue with the sweep. And as this weight comes back, it makes this move easy. Just swat it over. My goal is to get his, his um, shoulder to the mat. And it's fine when he's not resisting. Okay, because I can just push out. Car tries to posture. I put, my, I put his face in the mat. By leg pressing with this leg. Try to posture now, bro. It's going to be difficult. Okay, and then I switch hips. 
But in reality, what happens is, as I swap this to the mat, you know, Carl's reaction is like taking a dummy from a baby's mouth or a lollipop from someone. The minute I swap this leg over this way, Carl's a meat fan. He can do that. <coughs> but in our reaction is to parse it straight up again. Let's bring me back this way again. Which means, which is why we get so much into this position here. Like the posture up there, Carl. And then he can start to pull his arm out. Okay. So we're going to look, just add in another. <coughs> Just to complicate it further, so I have the sleeves. I put my feet on the hips and move the hips back on my side. Okay, this is a straight position. Put my grip. Back. Swap this over. Okay. This arm, because it's ski, I like to bring it in here. Hold it down. So if car passes up, push it up. You're gonna pull your arm out. See the way his arm comes across? Again, that's another option. I'll switch to the arm bar. This will cover next time. We're meant to do that. Okay, so stay there. Keep this grip, guys. Here. Okay. Now from here, Carl's on his knees. I can't finish the omen plata because I can't get a shoulder to the mat. So my, my left hand is going to grab outside pants of his right knee. Okay, here. And from here, I uncross my leg, which was trying to find the back of my foot. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start hip escaping in a circle. And I start pushing Carl's knee down to get his knee, his lap space. Okay. And then from here, just sitting up. I don't need this, which we did last time. Just grab the lip hand. Elbow vice. I bring this across his back. Then my legs back. Try that one more time. There's a lot of details in that, guys. So, watch the face. Sleeve control. Okay. Put my feet on the hips rather than on the mat. On the mat, he hops over my legs. He doesn't. So, I move my hips back. Now I want a box principle, I want to put robots on his hips and his shoulders, so this comes inside, and now robots on his two hips and two shoulders. I switch the grip to this from the sleeve to the elbow, so he can post in his hand, I'm baiting him into posting with this hand. So when I move my body back and I kick out, I know Carl wants to come back up again, and when he does, I'm smashing this down to the mat. I feel his shoulder coming up, this hand, Grabs the lapel. Okay, I don't want him coming all the way up. So my, my left hand is going to reach back and grab the pants on his knee. Now I use this foot and I start moving anti-clockwise, taking him this way, collapsing his face. See how it gets his shoulder to the man? And now from here, sitting up, grab the lapel. Throw my feet back sometimes, I can grab this wrist as well. Come up this way, keep it stuffed into my hip. Okay, so, let's do that, guys.